Hey friends, we're back out here in the garage working on the old Model A because it's road trip time. Fall's here, you can see the leaves are changing. The weather is beautiful, it's the best time of year to take the old hot rod, on, hot rod out on the road. But before we go, I've got a bunch of projects that I wanna get done. And uh, the biggest one, I might have bit off a little more than I could chew today, but I, I gotta get it done, is I wanna figure out a way, I wanted to figure out a way to cover this roof because as cool as it is cruising around with this roof open, uh, now that I have glass in the sides, I've learned that, uh, man, it is would be nice to have a little cap on the top there. Cut down on the wind noise, and then also cut down on just the sun, and maybe even a little rain sometime. Not that I want to have this car out in the rain too much, because uh, it'll rust. But I wanted to come up with a cap, and the way I wanted to do this is, um, I really like regular roof inserts, from like the uh, you know mid 30s Ford cars and stuff. Um, I didn't really like the way these Model A's were original. Originally this thing would have had vinyl tacked in here along this tack strip and around the back and this whole top would have been covered in vinyl. And the front would have been a lot different too because this is a 29 Model A and this visor here is from a 3031. So if you go way back to some of my earlier videos, maybe I'll put a link up there so you can check them out. I adapted this visor onto this car because I think they look better. And now I gotta figure out a way to get the roofs inserted in. So I'll get you up to speed with where I'm at. I started uh, well, by thinking about it for a long time. And then I went and measured myself out a piece of wood and cut myself a piece of uh, 3 16 wood there that'll lay right in this channel right here. It'll lay right inside here and on that side and all the way around. And uh, I wasn't really sure how I was going to secure it that well. What I think I'm going to end up doing is using these, these bolts, these holes, and putting some bolts through, long bolts through around the edges. But it's the front that I was concerned about. You know, nobody, nobody wants to be hitting top end, you know, and uh, have the roof fly off. So I've been thinking real hard about how to do that. I've got some designs. I've got some metal. I'm going to do some pounding on metal a little bit here. Maybe a little, uh, little tack welding. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing is build myself a little strip that mounts right in here and kind of comes up and over so that it'll capture the wood in the front, you know, kind of up and over. And so wood will slip down inside there. I don't know, I don't know if it'll work. I'm gonna build that metal strip, get it tacked into place. And then uh, we'll check it out and see if that, I don't know, see if that concept comes to fruition here. I tell you what though, I don't see a lot of dudes with just like a, like a later model insert in the roof of their Model A. So if I can pull this off, it'll be cool. So I got my board over there. You can see I already cut it to size because I wasn't sure if it was gonna lay right. It's hard to tell here, but there's two curves, right? The, curve, the roof has a little bit of curve this way. And then of course there's a curve front to back. So I wasn't sure if that wood was gonna try to bunch up or how it was gonna fit on there, but I think it's gonna work. So I have a pile of foam that once I do get it, I'll lay it on there. And then somewhere over here, I got a stashed out a roll of uh, vinyl that we'll cover it with. So, all right, I got to get busy doing some fabricating, getting some metal uh, laid out, hopefully tacked into place here real soon, and we'll bring you back. Okay, fellas, this is what we have here we made this piece broke it actually I bent it in my vise since I don't have a brake and uh, this is how it sits and you can see the, the wood's gonna lay on top here and it should be able to shoot right through there and slip right in that little little slot there and capture it and it's got a good inch of overlap on there and uh, it'll lay in there and it'll get right up against this bump here on the visor now, I just have about a thousand welds to do, little tack welds as I go all the way across here. This is where I wish I had a TIG welder. Ah, uh, the little MIG will do all right. It's treated me well so far. And, uh, you know, when you cobble something together like that with a bunch of different parts, it doesn't matter. You can just go ahead and slap something else on there like that and it should be all right. I think that's going to be pretty slick. And then my wood should lay in there just about like I want it to. I gotta get busy if I wanna finish this project today. So I'm gonna stop filming. I'm gonna to get to welding and I'll bring you back here in a little bit when I've got a bunch of welds on there and we get that thing going. All 
All right, you ready to check out, see how this thing's gonna work? Here we go. So this is the way it's gonna sit here. Board slides under, and if it works right, you can see right here where to lay down right in that groove, and then uh, all the way around the back here, it should do the same. I'm gonna have to work on this wood back here in the back, because it should lay down there the same, but this piece of wood right here sticks up for some reason. I don't know if that's factory or if that's uh, something, you know, almost a hundred years of abuse can do to a car. But I'll probably come in here and I'm gonna trim that down so this will just sit right down in. Get the camera right. Lay right down in that groove. And I think that's gonna work. So I'm at a point now where I can come in here and I can start uh, pulling these bolts out, lay it down real flat and then come through and drill some holes so that I can tie it all down, put my bolts in to tie it down. And that will give me a chance to put a little bit of stain or sealer on this guy. And it'll dry while I'm working on the rest of tack welding this, welding the, this all the way in, figuring out all the rest of it. So I've got a lot of work to do. You get the idea what it looks like. When you come back, we'll have this thing tied down all the way around there and hopefully uh, at least stained. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys, check it out. There it is, all fit into place. I thought I could get away without having to do bolts in every one of the um, braces across where it bolts down, but I'm going to have to just because you can see I skipped that one, it bulged a little bit. Uh, yeah, man, I think it came out awesome. The wood right here underneath is holding it up, so I need to grind down that wood a little bit and clean it up. But I think that's pretty sweet. I mean, it meets the objective. Yeah, same as on that other side. I'm gonna have to put a bolt in right here. And I think that bracket's holding it up or the uh, brace on the inside. Let's push it up a little bit too, but I'll tie that down. That's gonna be sweet. All right, time to pop it all off, drill a couple more holes, slap a little bit of primer or a sealer stainer on the wood so that if it gets wet under there, it doesn't rot out on me real quick. And then we move on to the next phase. All right, guys, it's been a day. Uh, this is what we're working with. I'm almost done with it. So I, I, man, I worked, well, most of the day until I had other stuff that came up that I needed to do. But I got a lot of it done. Um, all I need to do is go through here and put my uh, bolts through. I need to punch them through. I'll use my hot poker and, and poke them up. But check it out. You guys should be pretty stoked. Yeah. See my front rail, got it tacked in a little bit. Again, man, a TIG welder would be nice just to go TIG weld that whole thing across there. But I'll do it with the MIG and then grind it and stuff. So uh, it's got a good three quarters of an inch of this slipped under there. And then, uh, like I said, now I, I still got to poke all my holes. I, uh, I'm i not an upholsterer. I'll just leave it at that. Um, once, once I get it squared up though, I can go through and I can poke my my bolts through, so yeah, so you'll see the bolts, but I couldn't think of a real easy way to do it where the bolts didn't show. Anyway, that's a long story, just trust me. Uh, it should look all right with the bolts in there, so. Okay, um, I am gonna wrap this up, guys. I'm gonna call this a day for now because I gotta run around and do uh, my chores. Um, I will bring you back when I have this thing all finished up there. You can check it out, see what you like, see what you think of it. And then uh, make sure you let me know. I'm sure there's somebody out here who's done this and has done it easier and better. Uh, so please put a comment down there. Direct me where that is. If you got ideas of how you would have done it different, let me know. Love to see your comments. All right, guys. Uh, we'll bring you back when I have this thing finished. All right, guys. I promised I'd get you guys a finished uh, shot of this roof here on the car. But before I do that, I'll just say I, did end up doing a, I ended up doing a lot of work on it while uh, and not doing a lot of videoing because I was just jamming to get it done. Because obviously I'm not at my house anymore. I'm over at my parents' house, had a deadline, had to leave the next morning to get over here because my dad and I are gonna go do some hot rod stuff. Uh, but here it is, check it out. Here's how the roof ended up on the old Model A. I'll step back so you can see it kind of from a distance. I ended out, well, I'll get to that in a minute, but there it is. I really like how it fits nice and snug right down in the groove here, all the way around. I 
almost had it figured out where I could hide my bolts and it would just you would just see the canvas or the vinyl on top. But I scrapped that idea because I ran out of time. I just had to get it done. So that's that. Um, I got to go do a couple more passes here on this and grinding to get it nice and smooth where it has a nice easy transition. You won't be able to tell that that's welded in there. But uh, I think it came out pretty slick. You guys will have to tell me what you think. You can throw in the comments down below whether you like it or not. And whether you had better ideas or not. This is what it looks like on the inside, obviously. Uh, you know, one of these days we'll get a headliner in there and you won't be able to see it. But it's, I mean, you could tell there's no, no gaps there. It is tight and it doesn't flop around. It's pretty good. I really haven't driven the car very much since I got that on there. So we're gonna go test drive tomorrow. We're gonna take a little road trip. Obviously, again, we're over here at my parents' house. Uh, I got his coupe, got his 34 Chevy pickup. We're doing a little bit of work on that and we are taking a road trip tomorrow. But you're gonna have to come back next time and see that. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, catch my next video, cause you won't wanna miss this fun adventure we're going on. Thanks for following along.